Oh, kudo ista. This tutorial is on a straight blast. Now that's not a Wing Chun style straight blast, but a kudo style straight blast. Uh, this is something I've seen done perhaps spontaneously quite often in kudo competition. But I don't know if it's practiced as a drill so much in dojos. So this tutorial is about how to do it well and also when it is appropriate to use and when it isn't. So first let's learn the technique. For the purpose of learning the straight blast, uh, I'm going to do a four punch combination. Of course it doesn't always have to be four punches, it can be two, three, one, five, whatever, depending on the situation. But for the purposes of learning the body mechanics, I find a four punch drill is very effective. Basically what it is, is throwing four straight punches as you walk forward, okay? So I'm orthodox, so for me as an orthodox fighter, I'm going to start stepping forward with my right foot as I throw a left straight, okay? It's not a left jab, which is thrown with your lead leg forward, but instead you're switching stances, essentially turning it into a straight, a left straight. I'm going to continue walking forward, right straight, left straight, right straight. Always throwing a punch with the opposite hand to the leg that's forward. Now I'm going to move backwards, doing the same thing. Step back with my left foot, punch with my left hand. Step back with my right foot, punch with my right. Back left, back right. Fighting stance. Essentially that's the drill. What we're teaching you to do here is to be able to throw while moving in, di in different directions, forward or backwards. So say if an opponent's pressuring you, you can still strike while moving backwards. If an opponent is retreating from you and you want to cover ground while hitting at the same time, you have this ability to walk and throw power shots at the same time. So this can be a very effective technique in certain situations. Okay, so let's practice it. I'll do it facing the camera now. So I'm in my fighting stance. Step forward. First of all, when you step forward, you should transfer your weight over your front foot. This will make it easier to move your back foot forward, okay? Rather than trying to push off the back foot, transfer your weight forward first and step. This is something that you will see in uh, traditional karate drills from using a, a bow stance, bringing your legs forward, always keeping your hips underneath you. The same concept is being used here. We're just using a more practical stance as we do it, okay? So you're bringing your foot in, shifting your body weight forward, bringing your foot in and stepping forward into the opposite stance. Shifting forward, keeping your hips underneath you. Same when you're going back. You're keeping your hips underneath you. You are not leaning your body forward like this. Okay, this is going to make you lose your balance a lot easier. Okay, so keeping your hips underneath you will give you better balance. Not overreaching with your upper body. Okay. You also want to make sure you are using proper hip rotation for each strike because you want to throw with power that requires hip rotation. So make sure you're pulling your opposite shoulder back as you punch and rotating those hips. Okay? What you don't want to be doing is just punching with your arms. A lot of time I see this kind of thing. It's all just arm movement, there's no hips involved, so you're not really getting the benefit of the straight, of switching your stance to get that power. You're not getting that benefit, you're just throwing with your arms. So make sure you're using your hips with good rotation each time you throw. Okay. So four punches from the left hand going one, two, Three, four. Now I'm going to step back. One, two, three, four. Fighting stance. 
gradually speed that up. A little bit faster now. And back. Okay. One thing I like to work into this drill is an angle step at the end. I'm always looking to create angles whenever I can rather than just fighting in straight lines. So, for creating an angle, I'll throw three punches and then pivot to the side. So from fighting stance, I throw left hand first, one, two, three, then I pivot on my lead foot, boom, and I'm open to throw a straight or a kick or whatever I want. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, pivot, kick. I can also pivot off to the other side, say if I'm against a southpaw fighter. One, two, three, four, pivot, kick. I'll do that facing the camera now. There's another thing you can do, is when going backwards at an angle, I like to do that with a check hook. So, I'm moving backwards, left, right, left, right, then I'm going to pivot on that front foot and throw a check hook at the same time, bam, okay, check hook is basically you're lifting your elbow up, thumb down, and you're bringing your shoulder to your jaw as you pivot your back foot out, bam, okay, this is a great counter punch against an opponent's straight right hand. I'm basically locking his hand as I punch, or I'm just punching over the top, okay? And the shoulder helps also to deflect his hand from connecting with you. And by angling off, uh, it gets your head off center line, and usually his punch will come, come through here and you angle off and hit. That'll look like this. It'll be going backwards. Okay, one, two, three, four, back. Okay. Another thing you can do is add a kick onto this combination. It's something I've seen used very effectively quite often. For example, I might throw one, two, three, step, high kick, or low kick, or middle, whatever you want. Okay, so a bit smoother with that one. Or I can throw the right kick after my right hand. Say if my opponent blocks my hand, parries my hand, I kick over the top of his parry. That would look like this. One, two, three, four, kick. Or as a two punch combination. One, two, boom. Now by practicing this drill, or these drills, you will gradually teach your body to become more comfortable with switching stances and throwing punches while maintaining good balance and being able to chain combinations together. So, often I, it may not even be a blast, I may only throw one punch. I may just use the first punch of this combination just to switch to throw a left straight and use that to create angles. This is something I'll do often. But by doing this drill, four punch drills, it will train the movements into my body so that it's very smooth for me to be able to throw that kind of punch. Okay? So, of course there are times when this kind of multiple punch attack is effective and there's times when it's dangerous, okay? This is not something I would just throw off the get-go at somebody. You're likely to just end up getting countered if they can see you coming, okay? Generally, I will use this if I get a person to cover up or someone starts to back up and they're not in a very good position to counterattack. I can press forward and continue to attack them with power and fluidity. 
okay, without a major risk of getting countered myself. So, especially if I hurt someone, if I see, bam, I get someone and there's a little for a minute, bam, 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 that's a signal to go, okay. And so the more you practice this drill, the more fluid it, it will become and it will start to feel more natural and you can start to really start speeding it up. You can use this combination with slips. Okay, I might go forwards going one, two, slip, angle off, boom. Okay. Another thing I often see people do with this, and I do it myself, is to move their head as they are punching. So this is moving their head off center line as they walk. So making it even harder for them to get countered. Okay. So that would look like swing, 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 swing. I'm moving my head from side to side, or like this. Okay, so you can see how that could be a very effective way to move forward, avoiding your opponent's strikes as you land your own and pushing him back. Also, when an opponent is attacking you, Retreating, moving your head as you retreat. <laughs> moving off to the side. Now, when I'm using this type of a blast um, in an actual sparring situation, it might look a little bit different. It might be a lot more fluid. Okay? So, it might be something more like this, like. <laughs> Okay, so my footwork starts to become a lot more dynamic, but I'm still using that that same walking maneuver to advance on my opponent while throwing strong punches. Once you've got this technique down, you can start adding it into other combinations. For example, off of a one-two. You throw the one-two, bam, bam, and step into a blast. Like this. Okay. We use it to create an angle off of a one-two. It can also lead into using switch steps to throw punches. Like when you switch for a kick, you switch and punch instead. So this drill is a stepping stone towards being able to do that. It look like this, right? Okay, again. This kind of attack. So, that is the Kudo Straight Blast. Practice and have fun.